So dear viewers of day one stay at home guided tours through Vision 2020 exhibition, welcome. Today, at the same entrance of this exhibition, uh, we are immediately addressing a different understanding of the term community and on the other side, of course, also of Indonesian diversity. We can understand a community as a unit of one person, of two persons, of many persons, of many people, of a nation. On the other side, also, we have urban communities, we have traditional communities, we have virtual communities, very important for Indonesian society, and many kinds of different approach of understanding of this term. We are starting today with Mala Hayati's project. She is a photographer uh, who has been educated in Antara Art Gallery of Photojournalism, which is a school for photojournalists in Jakarta. And she has been sharing on this exhibition her project, which is really a personal project. It is about her life, very much affected by a specific condition of her son, who has been diagnosed with high-functioning autism. Mala Hayati's presentation consists of two projects. First is a story about a settlement in the heart of Jakarta near a gentrified business district. Cattle, once part of rural environment, on this photo dwarfed by construction cranes and skyscrapers, depict the contrast of life in the capital of Indonesia. Houses are destroyed, headquarters of corporations developed. A toy castle looks almost humorous if it would not be a tragic remnant of the marginal quarters of the sprawling Jakarta megapolis, planned to be moved due to overpopulation and environmental issues. But as Mala explains, Even though we have moved, we are still bound to this village and its people. The place can be erased, but memories not. Mala's memories of home are interconnected with her second story, which is about her son Diandra, growing up in this fast developing world, being different from other children, having different childhood than his mother had. The story, titled Unshattered Glasses, features Mala's daily life with her son, the lack of social support, and her quest to change society with overcoming her personal challenges. Between 2013 and 2019, when my son Diandra was three to nine years old, I have been taking pictures mostly with my cell phone, posting them on Instagram and Facebook, and also my blog with extended caption. This intersection of my private realm and my vocation as documentary photographer was a turning point not just for me, my son and my family, but for a multitude of other people who start to communicate with me about their own similar issues and challenges. With sharing photographs, her son's daily behavior and therapeutic process, describing the habits that accompany children living with autism, the new community started to grow. Now also the visitors of the exhibition Vision 2020 are invited to interact with Mala's images and become a part of an empowering new community. From Mala Hayati being alone in her challenge, she inspired many who also felt imprisoned in their loneliness and consequently created a community of support. Documentary photography became an agency for transformation of her private constraints and of the community touched and formed by her ongoing project. Formerly marginalized, her son becomes a crucial partner in Malahayati's artistic process and through photography, 
He is now also developing his own creativity.